Good evening. This is Agashwani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. President Draupadi Mumu calls upon armed forces personnel to keep in mind integrated perspective of defence preparedness. Vice President Chakdeep Thanka presents National Water Awards in New Delhi. CMO Longling Dr. Tia Sinab says mass food poisoning at Bungching clinically suspected to be acute gastroenteritis bacterial bacillary infection. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in Monkey Bar program tomorrow. Now the news in detail. President Draupadi Momo has called upon the personnel of the Indian Air Force to adopt the integrated approach to the defence preparedness of the country. She asked them to impipe the spirit of an inspiring motto, touch the sky with glory and live up to the expectations of the nation. The president said this while presenting the wings and brevets to the flying officers and commissioned Indian Air Force trainees in the flying branch and trainees in the ground duty branch on completion of their training duty. Ten more officials from Indian Navy, Coast Guard and two trainee officials from Vietnam also have been presented wings at a combined graduation parade. This is for the first time in the history of the Air Force Academy that the President of India has been the reviewing officer. The President asked the newly commissioned officers to carry forward the great legacy of the Indian Air Force in defending the country and he be guided by the determination that was shown by the force during the previous conflicts. Appreciating the services of the Air Force in the recent operations in Turkey and Syria during disasters and medical emergencies, she said these operations are testimony to the high capability of the force. The President also appreciated the efforts that are underway for modernizing and strengthening the Air Force by including Rafale flights and other modern helicopters. Earlier Academy Commandant Air Marshal Chandra Shekhar administered oath to the newly commissioned officers. Vice President Jagdeep Thanka conferred the fourth National Water Awards in New Delhi today. The Jal Shakti Ministry had announced a total of 41 winners covering 11 categories, including joint winners for the National Water Awards 2022. Madhya Pradesh was awarded the first prize in the Best State category. In the Best District category, the award was given to the Ganjam District of Odisha. The Best Village Panchayat Award was presented to Jagan Nathapuram Village Panchayat in Batradri Kotagutem District of Telangana. Each award winner was conferred with a citation and a trophy as well as cash prizes. As part of the ongoing nationwide drive to realise the government's vision of a water prosperous India, the award focuses on encouraging the good work and efforts made by various individuals and organisations. It seeks to create awareness among the people about the importance of water and motivate them to adopt best water use practices. Speaking on the occasion, the Vice President stressed the need for water conservation. He asked people to use natural resources as per the necessity adding that Indian culture also teaches people about judicious use of natural resources. Tankar also talked about Pratan Mantri Ujwala Yojana and Jal Jivan Mission to provide tap water connections to people and term them as game changers. Union Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawad informed that around 56,000 Amrit Sarovars have been constructed and almost the same number of Amrit Sarovars are under construction in the country. Chief Medical Officer Longling, Dr. Tia Senap said the cause of the mass food poisoning yesterday at Bongqing is clinically suspected to be a case of acute gastroenteritis bacterial bacillary infection. Dr. Tia Senap said that a team of two nurses and one doctor has been sent to Bongqing village today to look for any secondary cases and to ensure public well-being. He said a thorough investigation was conducted and the fish sample, which is believed to have been the source of contamination, was confiscated and the fish sample had been sent to State Public Health Laboratory for comprehensive testing and evaluation and results are still awaited. The CMO informed that though the exact cause is not ascertained, the patients are being treated for bacterial bacillary infection at the moment. 
At present, of the total for the six patients who were admitted, six have been discharged and the remaining 40 patients are undergoing treatment and all patients are reported to be stable. Meanwhile, representatives from the Food Safety Department and the Chamber of Commerce, Longling, visited the district hospital along with police and civil administration. Samples of the cooked fish and fish from the same stock of supply were collected from the cellar and sent to the State Public Health Laboratory for analysis. The shop from where the fish were purchased has been sealed for further course of action. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts with the people of the country and abroad in a monkey bud program on Akashwani tomorrow at 11 a.m. It will be the 102nd episode of the monthly radio program. The program will be broadcast on the entire network of Akashwani to Darshan and Narendra Modi mobile apps. The program will also be live-streamed on the YouTube channels of the Akashwani, DD News and Information and Broadcasting Ministry. Akashwani will broadcast the program in regional languages immediately after the Hindi broadcast. This news comes to you from Akashwani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Kifre District Administration organized Yuva Utsav under the theme Panch Pran of Amrit Kal at Government Higher Secondary School Auditorium Kifre. Speaking on the occasion as special guest, Deputy Commissioner Kifre John Zelise emphasized on celebrating 75th anniversary of India's independence with a new hope and vision of youths. He mentioned that Prime Minister Narendra Modi had stated in his address during the celebration of India's 75th year of independence that India will become a developed nation by the time we reach 100 years centenary. Tsilise added that to achieve this goal, the next 25 years is very critical for the youths of this country as they play a vital role in bringing this to reality. The DC further expressed appreciation to Nehru Yuva Kendra for organizing the event to boost the moral and confidence of the young people and shaping their minds towards a better human resource. The event witnessed active participation for multiple competitions such as painting, poem, photography, declamation contest and cultural events from different schools, both private and government, besides other participants from different communities and churches around Kifaret town. Nagaland Chief Electoral Officer V. Shashank Shekhar has informed that in view of the forthcoming general election to the Lok Sabha 2024, the first stage, theme-wise, training of state-level master trainers was held on 16th and 17th June at Kohima. Directorate of Technical Education has informed the NEED UG 2023 qualified candidates to register online for undergoing MBBS, BDS and allied courses for the session 2023-24 from the official website www dtenagaland.org.in from 19th to June. It stated that the last date for online submission form with all necessary documents is 15th to July, of the which no applications would be entertained. The directorate has directed candidates to read all necessary instructions given in the online application form carefully before the form is submitted. Available data indicates that Southwest Monsoon was active over Nagaland during last 24 hours, according to the India Meteorological Department. It also indicates that light to moderate rain will occur at most places, while thunderstorm and lightning is very likely to occur at isolated places in the state. It said day temperatures had no large change during the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, Kohima today recorded a maximum temperature of 22.6 degrees Celsius and a minimum of 16.2 degrees Celsius. And now to the news, here are main points again. President Draupadi Momo calls upon armed forces personnel to keep in mind in the greater perspective of defence preparedness. Vice President Jagdeep Tanka presents National Water Awards in New Delhi. CMO Longling Dr. T. S. Sinap says mass food poisoning at Pongqing clinically suspected to be acute gastroenteritis bacterial bacillary infection. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi to share his thoughts in Monkey Bud program tomorrow. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.